Dear viewers, I know, I know, the Dear Days bids, they definitely went somewhere for a little bit. Unfortunately, I got really, really busy and could only afford to make videos when I had the time. And Zero has been really fun in December because it's the third anniversary of the game in the Japanese server. And they made like triple VP, triple rank points, which made the game a lot more fun to play, honestly. Um, and so I was spending my free time playing Zero and also been putting out some Zero content. But we're back on the Dear Days train, trying to get a few more decks shown off. So. We're temporarily suspending the start decks updated videos um, to show off some of my personal favorite decks that I play that haven't been featured yet. Starting off with basically my favorite ride line in all of Overdress, which is Eva. So today we're going to show off Eva without set 6 in it. So set 6 is really what makes Eva like top tier in my opinion because of the addition of Combine Rusher. But the deck is still really good in Dear Days because it has access to the Grade 1 Research Order promo, which is really important. So this is what the deck list looks like. I'm in the process of blinging it out, but this is taking quite a bit. It's a bit of an arduous task, um, so I will full bling it relatively soon, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So do be patient with it. It will happen eventually right eventually all right so let's break down eva and talk about the deck and why it's one of my favorites so starting off we have the starter that is eva and then our grade one which is when you ride over her you can search your deck for one research card reveal it put it into your hand and shuffle your deck and she has the glitter keyword which is basically just a keyword um it is there because some effects refer to you having a glitter vanguard um so that is the important part right then we have the Grade 2 Eva, who does the exact same thing when she rides over the Grade 1 Eva. You search your deck for up to one research card, reveal it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So, again, she just searches for research cards. And so the research cards are, first, the Grade 1, which you will always need at the start, is a result of the experiment henceforth. So this says, you can play this if your Vanguard is a Glitter with Eva in its card name. So, as I said about the Glitters, it's a set order and also a research order. And it says, in the order zone continuous, all of your rear guards with obscudate in their card names cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects. This is a really huge skill because this means that stuff like Gravidia cannot retire your obscudates with their meteors. And just in general, you, you become so much tankier. Like, you just have these obscudates that sit there, and we'll go over obscudate in a second, and it's such a good effect. But this gets even better. It says, act in the order zone. If your order zone has four more research cards, you can put this card into your soul to countercharge one and choose a card with obscurate in this card name from your drop and put it into your hand. So this card fixed so many issues for this deck. It's a grade one, which means that the deck becomes a turn three deck. It is a research order, which means we get another research order. It's a countercharger. It's a soul charger. It is a retire protection. And on top of that, it is... I, I can't remember. I think there was a six point as well. I'm trying to remember what it was, but... Basically, this card is incredible. This card is just incredible because it lets you recycle. I guess the six point is that you recycle a 10k shield. Like, you literally recycle your 10k shield, and in set eight, there's another obscurity that gets added, which is a grade two, so you can recycle that as well. So, just an incredible card. The second one that we're running for the time being is Experiment Successful. This is a double rare, which is a set order and a research order, which says when this card is put into your order zone, uh, you draw a card and then discard a card from your hand. And if your order zone has three or more research cards, you can Soul Blast one to choose an opponent's rearguard and bind it. And this is the only deck in Dear Days that can bind opponent's rearguards, which if you come from Yu-Gi-Oh! is basically like banishing. So you just remove it, they cannot recur them, and it's just kind of there on its own. So this is a very good card as well, because it helps to just counter some of the more popular matchups. You basically against buff Sagara, you remove their Trick Moons from the game completely, so they cannot revive them, which is really, really huge. So, then we have Obscudate himself, who is a grade 3 normal unit that is dual nation, so he belongs to both Keter Sanctuary and Brand Gate. And he says, when he attacks, if your order zone has a set order, he gets plus 5k power. And if you have three or more set orders, he gets plus 10k instead. So it's a 23k beater, because by turn 3, you will have three set orders in your order zone. And then his second effect is, if your Vanguard is a glitter with Eva in her card name, so it says glitter Eva, when he's placed on Rearguard Circle by a card's ability, if your order zone has three or more research cards, he gets crit plus one. This is insanely good because you have crit rear guards all the time. It gets even better in set eight because you get another great three research order that can call stuff off the top of your deck. And so it's really good. In the prison matchup, you can let this guy get in prison and then call him from the prison and it counts as being placed on rear by card's ability. So he gets that crit in that matchup too. And if that's not enough, he also says that on rear circle and guardian circle, he gets intercept and 10k shield. So you have 10k shield 
in one card, which is really rare in the D format, in the Overdress format. So that is really amazing. So of course we're running four copies of him too. And then finally, the grade three of the deck itself, which is the main boss unit, Fountain of Knowledge, Eva. So have four SPs because she is the girl. And so she says, once per turn act, Kennel Boss 1, and you look at cards on the top of your deck equal to the number of research cards in your order zone. And then you choose up to one card from among them, put it to your hand, and put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order, and she gets plus socket power until end of turn. So what this means is that if on turn 3 you have 3 research cards already in play, you look at top 3 and you add 1 to hand. You don't reveal it. This does not say reveal. You add it to your hand without showing it to your opponent, so they do not know what that card is. And she becomes an 18k attacker, which is actually kind of awkward to, gu awkward to guard if they don't play front triggers. So that's already very nice. But then her second effect is when she attacks, you can count us one, so last one. Search your deck for a card with obsolete in his card name. Uh, search your deck or hand, by the way. For a card without getting his card name, call it to rear, and if you search your deck, you shuffle your deck. The cool thing about this is that you can choose to search your deck first and then confirm if you have any or not, and then call from hand if you want to. So you always get to shuffle your deck so that if you use the first skill and put triggers in the bottom of the deck for this skill, you can shuffle them back up um, to still check them. So she's an amazing engine for the deck, basically. And then we have a bunch of other stuff that we make, uh, you know, make her work, right? So First things first, we see B quite a bit, so we play 4 Bobo Mine. This card becomes more important in set 6 because of a card called Combined Rusher, but he just says Breaker Circle and Ability Boosted. If your Order Zone has a set order in it, put it to Soul, Counter Charge 1. So, provides Soul, provides Counter Blast, which is very nice. Then, we're running 2 copies of Secondo. He says 1 place on Breaker Circle. You can choose a non trigger unit from your drop and put it in the bottom of your deck. And if you put a Grade 3 or Greater card, you Soul Blast 3 and draw a card. So, the English wording of this card makes it a bit confusing because it's actually a little bit different from the Japanese wording. In English they say one non-trigger unit from your drop, but this... Basically what this means is that you can choose a card that is not a trigger unit. So you can choose orders as well. And I've actually tested this in Dear Days. It lets you target if you have a set order in your drop zone. You can actually put it back to the deck. So that is... Um, very nice. You don't actually use the second part of the skill to Soul Blast 3 and draw a card that much, because you usually don't have that soul because you need to be using it um, basically for your Eva uh, to call out your Obscadades, right? So Secondo is really good just to keep your Obscadades going, um, which is really, really nice. And then we play two copies of Successor of the Variable Star, or as I call her, Mamako, which is her Japanese name. She just gets plus 2k power for every uh, one of your set orders in your order zone. So if you have 3, she gets plus 6, which makes her 13k, um, which on Persona Ride is 23. And she can also boost as a 13k to your 10ks. Or if you have 4 set orders, she's going to be 15k, so she makes magic numbers with your obscudate. So that's also very nice. And then to finish off, we have 3 copies of Tech 10. So when he's discarded from hand during your turn, you can look at the top 5 cards of your deck and choose a set order from among them and, and reel it and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. I never like this card too much in Eva because I I don't think it's necessary because you mulligan for your orders and then you just draw them naturally through Eva's own effect. But for now, there's nothing really better outside of like the goal. What is it like? Like there's a great two that's like it can call itself when discarded or something like that. But it's pretty CB heavy and it's not recurrable like Combined Rusher is and doesn't get the power like Combined Rusher does. So for now, Tectan will be the solution. Of course, we play three perfect guards together with a one Blitz Order PG and then an eight crit three draw lineup. Actually, I do think that in the current format, it's debatable if you play draws or fronts, but because you don't have Combined Rusher, you do need to be finding parts a little bit more um, compared to the set 6 build, which will be able to play fronts because you have Combined Rusher. So things change a little bit in that sense, but the deck is really fun. It is my favorite deck for a reason. So let's get into ranked and give it a spin. All right, Max K is gonna be your opponent. Let's get into it and see what they're bringing to the table in this fight. So, load on in. Ooh, it's looking like Magnolia, from judging from the sleeves. Let's see if that is the case or not. Mm, okay, we lose a Rock, Paper, Scissors, going second. Not too bad, though. Eva doesn't really mind going second. Ooh, very nice opening hand. We have the Grade 1 Order. I kind of want a Persona Riot, so we're going to mulligan hard for that, and we do find it. And we have two copies of the Grade 1 Order, which means that here we can just search out the Grade 2 Order from our Ride deck. Uh, going forward. Can even search out two copies in order to have plenty of removal. Ooh, it's Zorga with Inlet. Is it Zorga? No, it's not Zorga. It's Magnolia with Inlet Pulse. That means it's not Elder, I suppose. At least not yet. I don't think they unrestricted Inlet Pulse in Deer Days yet. It would be a bit early for that. The meta is very different. Oh, OT drawn. Not the end of the world, though. 
Here we can discard the draw trigger. I feel like I won't get damage denied. Now we can discard Bubble Mine. If you're going second, like, because we don't have a combined rusher yet in Dear Days, um, we don't need Bubble Mine early as much. More so, we need it in like the mid game. All right, let's take it. Experiment successful. Add that to hand and then draw from going second with Eva. We draw into a crit. That's okay. We're gonna use the grade one here to set it and essentially have our first set order set up there. And then I'm gonna swing with Eva here with 8k. Let's see if we check anything good. Hey, Persona Ride. That is very good. Cool. So that is our second Persona Ride in hand. So, yeah, Bubble Mine is going to be really good in the early game when Combine Rusher gets added in February in set 6. So when that comes out, Bubble Mine will be very important in the early game. But for now, it's like you don't really see me until turn 3. And when you go second, you kind of expect your opponent to put you to 2 damage. Because for Eva to really like use both of her effects, she needs 2 CB on turn 3, right? Um, otherwise you get forced to choose between one or the other. So, ooh, we're gonna be guarding early here. Definitely don't want to get my face rushed in too hard. He's calling out double Pantero. Uh, it's slightly annoying. They did drop one of their Persona Rides, and this is a Persona Ride based Magnolia build, so... This will change things a little bit. I'm gonna swing rear first, I will take this one to try to hit a defensive, which will allow me to potentially deny this entire turn. And that's gonna happen. That's what we like to see. Give that extra power. And then we can just drop a 5k shield. Just drop the draw trigger, basically, to uh, protect ourselves against the Vanguard. Because we don't want to lose, you know, we don't want to, like, get damaged here just because we got cocky and, like, we're like, oh, there's no way we're going to check a trigger. Like, if we check a crit here, we go to 3. And we don't want that to happen. So, of course, they'll give that to the rear then, and then we'll still hit and we still have to guard. Um, but I think it's better to play it safe here. There are some situations where you can choose to not play it safe, but our hand is relatively healthy, so that makes things a little bit different. We have a couple of crits in hand, so we can actually afford to discard one of these. Uh, so we're going to do just that. Ditch the crit here to ride into the grade 2, and then use the skill to search out another grade 2 research card. There we go. Yeah, Chronic is going to be added to Dear Days for a while, unfortunately. Let's set the grade 1 here. We could even set, I think, just to prevent getting you no slug in the face. I'm gonna swing to rear here to damage the Nile a little bit. Because uh, giving 2 CB to Magnolia means that they're using Magnolia and Gunosla to just push your face in, which is not very fun. So we're gonna just deny one of the attackers here and uh, prevent our face from getting rushed in, which is good. So, moving forward, we're gonna ride Magnolia here and be able to do a few attacks to the face. So basically, our hand allows us to guard the Vanguard and not much else. There's literally nothing but the OT in the crit in my hand that like, has shield value, but I still discard it for the right deck in that matter because I do want to take one or two attacks this turn. Just because then if I'm ahead in damage, I'm also in heal range and I haven't seen a single heal yet, so... It's part of the reason why we damage the Nice that if we check a heal trigger here on this uh, first damage check, we actually do activate it, which is also very good. So let's see. What will be the play on my opponent's side? I think they're using their order. If I'm not mistaken, to call a card from drop, which is probably the inlet pulse, or not. We do have the in two inlets in drop. Good god. Alright. Okay, so they're just going for... Okay, they're gonna go for two big swings. So we're gonna two to pass the vanguard here, because the rearguard swing is gonna be kind of annoying. I think this gets plus 5k if I'm not mistaken, too. Yeah, so it's 14 plus the 18. Not uh, plus the 15, rather. So that's pretty annoying. 29. It's quite a lot. Quite a lot, so... Guarding that, it's good. And I'm assuming this will go to my face still. I'm assuming they're not going to just pass. If they know the matchup, you would actually pass here. Um, although I'm not sure, because Magnolia does want to get some damage in. Just to uh, be able to, you know, procure damage. <laughs> so we will take this. 29 is way too much to guard with the current hand that we have. And we're going to see what we draw into off the top here for the right deck discard. We might have to discard one of our researches, which is not great. Ooh, we get a heal, which is actually going to be effective. Not a very good one, though, because I actually wanted the two damage. So here's kind of where I regret discarding the bubble mine a little bit. But it's not the end of the world against Magnolia. Healing is always going to be nice. Oh, well, bubble mine did show up. All right. Ugh, but I don't really have attackers. Hmm. I can find one off the researchers, I guess. Let's ditch the research in the end. See what we draw off of experiment successful. This is going to be the important play. Let's see if this finds me 
The thing is, if it does find me a good attacker, that means I'm going to discard, like, one of my other good pieces. Popsky is a pretty good attacker, not gonna lie. Do I need the PG at this point? That's what I'm thinking about. For Sun Rides, I definitely need to control the pace of the game. I have OT and a PG in hand, which are kind of the same. We're dropping the PG here. And we're gonna Soul Blast 1 to remove this Pantero, so you cannot bring it back. God, I think I've only played this matchup like once or twice IRL, actually, funnily enough. So, uh, let's use this search skill first, you know, draw first gamers. Alright. CB1, look at top three. Oh, we can just find the PG right back in. Sweet. Add it to hand, and then the rest goes to bottom. Perfect. So with that, we are going to be denying ourselves of healing, which is a little bit unfortunate just to be able to use this global mine, but it's not the end of the world. 31k swing to the face. Might get guarded, might, and might not. Um, still gonna be a lot of pressure. So, let's push the power to 10 to 31 with the plus 10k here. And see if we can push in this damage, or if my opponent will guard with a front. They will not. So that means our heals will be denied. PG goes out for my opponent, which is a good sight for me. And then we're gonna use the bubble mine here to put it to soul. To counter charge one and be able to use both Avo effects in one turn, which is nice. So we deck thinned, and we're going to deck thin some more with the on attack effect. So CB1, Soul Blast 1. And with this... Yeah, like, the prison Eva matchup is pretty funny. It's pretty funny because Obscurate becomes even better than he already is, and he's already a pretty fantastic card, so... It's, uh, they really went and said, hey, here's a good card, let's make it even better. Ooh, no guarding! Really risky here, considering I'm relatively compressed. We're gonna whiff a heal. It's not the end of the world. It's still gonna be a defensive card we can use in hand. Second check. Ooh, experiment. Good. So, me dishing that one is also gonna return. So, that's good. And now we have a 33k. Obscudade on three damage for my opponents. I have to commit at least two cards to guard this, which is nice. We thin out their defenses a little bit. And if not, they go to five, which they definitely don't want to do, I think. Here comes 33. Dun, 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 dun. You hate the Great Force Seraph? Prince Ritual in another game? I mean, without the Great Force Seraph, that deck has no win con, right? They just gave the deck a win con, and honestly, Prison is not really the best deck by any means either. It's a good deck, but it's not the best deck, so. But I do understand, like, the qualms with the card, I suppose, for especially for newer players, that's for sure. Let's see which order my opponent played. Sorry, I drew some water. I don't think it was that. Oh, you use Wild Intelligence to get the double inlet pulls on Persona Ride. You know still in the back as well, which will allow for the big, big, big power passing here. All right, my opponent's doing some good stuff. Gonna swing to Vanguard. I will be respectfully taking this. No need to... Uh, commit much shield on the first wing because they sometimes just break through anyway. Gets the heal, gonna heal down to th uh, two. Moderately annoying. <laughs> Moderately annoying. Gonna give the power to the Gnosa here as well. So if we hit a defensive... Actually, no. Hitting the defensive doesn't change too much. Gnosa's gonna be 25. So. Here comes Magnolia. Don't get to see this animation too much. No defensive, that's fine. So Gnosa's gonna be 25k with Magnolia's effect. So, she gives plus 5k to 3 units, if I'm not mistaken, so you can give it to front row reach as well. Yeah, you can give 3 regress plus 5k, so it's gonna give it like that. Just power up that board. Honestly, you know, it's not probably gonna pass power to the booster, and then just swing, yeah, just swing 23 a couple times. I think I wanna take this one. Take this one, guard the other two. And then, uh, eat the really big attack. Although, I'll see. It's, it's a really big attack. Depends where it goes. I'm assuming you know it's gonna swing next? No, it's not. Okay. Ah. Uh, this would be 40, huh? Annoying little number. I think here we just do double... Double Obscadade for the 20k shield. So, that's another great thing about Obscadade. It's a big ol' shield. And so now, we can guard the Ginosla and then just no-guard the 40k swing from the back there. So 
that, that's gonna be a very annoying and strong attack. What? Huh. So he knows that I'm gonna take it. Using to conserve Calblast at this point. Alright. Nobody's gonna yell <laughs> as we take the damage. Alright, then I guess. Interesting. Alright, well, we will guard this. I don't want to go too much beyond 4 damage here. Yeah, let's guard this. And then we have a Persona Ride turn of our own. And my opponent's going to draw up to a lot of cards. Going to go to 10 cards with these Inlet Pulses. Which is really strong, especially considering that they are, you know, healed down to 2. There goes 1. And there goes the 2nd in a bit. Yep, there goes the 2nd to the Soul. Big draws. Bobo I picked up from the top, that's nice. But for now, let's Persona Ride. And get something out of this. Mamoko picked up, that's good. Um, we do have an order, let's play it first. Bind the Gunosla, I don't want to see that card anywhere near me. Mmm. I don't really need Bobo Mine, to be honest. I'm gonna toss that. Bind you. And then use Eva's effect. Uh, to Kamos 1, look at top 4 and add 1 to hand. Another Persona Ride. Versus another Mamoko. We already have Persona Rides in hand for next turn. I'll take the Mamoko and then put the rest to the bottom for now. We don't need Sikondal yet, because we have a lot of our Obscurates in the deck still, so... That's kind of why. Mm, let's put this into the Soul now and counter charge 1 and add Obscurate back to hand. Alright, so it gets out of the hand. We're gonna call one of them out. Just thinking about multi attacking here. I think I can afford to. This is a 23k swing, so it's pretty good. And then we have one in the back for later. I think I need to just equalize the damage a little bit, so we do need to go a little bit on the offensive, even if it means I do lose out on a card. So. This is pretty good. Have I seen Pokemon li TCG live? Yeah. I mean, I've been following its development for ever since it came out of beta. Alright, let's swing with the Evolve. Gonna CB1 and Soul Blast 1 here. We call an upgrade from deck. Give it a crit. We forced out a shield from my opponent's hand, which is very good. Car traps and also I'd recommend. There's a lot. You just go to, uh, go to Ota Road in Nipponbashi and just explore, dude. There's so much. There's quite a few new shops as well that popped up after the pandemic, so those are also pretty cool. Oh, we get a crit. That's very good. So we give the crit to Vanguard, give the power to the Obscadade with the crit on it. Alright. Next, a check. Also a crit. Uh, nine cards in hand, huh? We could choke at four, so we still remain in heal range. So we're going to give the crit and power to this rear. I want to be able to still heal... So we're going to just deal 2 damage, because then she cannot heal down, and this way we force her to guard both attacks. So this is actually a very huge crit check. And I mean, this deck's ability to compress in order to get those trigger checks is very, very good. Alright. 23 versus these 43 and 46k columns. Still asking for 2 card guards on both. Let's see them. Gonna definitely chuck that, that card, that hand down to like at least five cards. Let's see it. Yep, that's a two card guard. We're gonna see another one coming through. Push that hand down to five. That's what you get for making me <laughs> guard so much as well. And then next turn, we have another Persona Ride queued up. And then we try to find a Secondo off the top as well. Down the line. Alright, 56. Let's see if my opponent... How they'll guard this one. Big old swing. Three card guard, technically. Perfect guards it. Alright. That's fine. Perfect guard is good. Oh yeah, it's funny. This thing gets power. Because <laughs> you play a blitz order. So technically, any card that says, like, if you play an order, it gets power. Uh, works in the opponent's turn. Alright. Got them down to five cards. And here comes the last person ride, because I do believe that they... Damage checked one earlier. It was a lot earlier. One in soul. 
Oh, there might be one more somewhere. I think they're using... Alright, here comes another two inlet pulses. The what road in Nihonbashi? Ota Road. O-T-A Road. You can just Google it. There's plenty of videos on it. There's an Ikusan there. There's a Amenity... I think there's an Amenity Dream, if I'm not mistaken. There's quite a lot. There's honestly a lot of card shops. There's some that are kind of in, in, in corners, so you gotta really carefully look around for them, but... There's a lot of card shops in Osaka, and they're really, really good. The Vanguard scene in Osaka feels very, very, like, well-populated, if that makes sense. So, like, the general card population as well is very extensive. All right. This gonna be a pretty strong turn, actually, for my opponent. Banger Column is kind of scary, too. I think we just do 15k with an Obscadade. Make it two to pass. Don't really want to check my OT at this. Because of that Gunosla in the back. Oof, quick check. If he tries to break the two to pass, I'm assuming he's going to put everything to the Gino slot to make the other swings bigger. Especially that crit trigger that he called down. Like, I feel like if you're already calling down the crit trigger, you're trying to make that into something bigger. So let's see what my opponent chooses to do. Ooh, gives the crit to the end picks. Power to the... yeah, Gino slot. As expected. And another Gino slot, so that's 20k shield that's been added to my opponent's hand. They did not call out any inlets, because they're stuck in soul, right? They have not been able to get them out of the soul. So there will not be any more plussing for my opponent here. No more draws. Six card hand is what it's going to stay at. And now they got the triple back row attack. God, that's scary. <laughs> Good god, is this scary. Yeah, no inlet, no SBC. 23k swing, I will be guarding this. With relative ease. So, I'm a. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of annoying because I actually have to ditch the order here. I'm gonna have to ditch the OT. Depends on what we get in defensives. We'll take this. This is probably gonna go here. And then. If we get a defensive, guarding becomes a bit easier. So then I can one card guard this with the Obscurate Intercept. We're gonna no guard this one. See, we can hit a defensive. We haven't really been hitting defensives at all this game, so it'd be nice if we did. We don't, and it's an order too, so that means makes discarding this even worse. But let's see. I do have to commit the PG for this. A little bit unfortunate, and drop the OT. But having Persona Ride plus, you know, just just having Persona Ride honestly is enough for me here. So we're gonna push some offensive. Uh, plays next turn. Drop the PG. Damn, Magnolia is actually putting up quite a fight. Like, not having Combined Rusher in Deer Days yet definitely makes the matchup a bit harder. So, we're actually running quite low on orders here. I think, how many do I have in drop? I think I ditched the Grade 2 at some point. Yeah, I ditched the Grade 2 at some point. Huh? Oh, never mind. We topped that one. That's good. That'll help to get another upgrade back. Sun ride first. Ooh, into a Tecton. So that gives me a perfect discard fodder. So let's set the order, I think. Let's see what we draw first. Uh, actually, I might want to use a Tecton as an attacker instead. I might want to use it as an attacker instead because I don't think I have many orders left anyway, right? Like... Yeah, we have four, five, six... Seven, so only one left, so the chance of hitting it is actually... Oh no, they're all out. Never mind. Easy, Tecton doesn't have any targets. Tecton does not have any targets, so that makes it very easy. Alright, let's bind that. Cool, good thing you check. Always check. So, CB1, check top four for a card. Another Persona Ride, don't mind if I do. And then put the rest of the bottom in any order. Do we have any Obscurates left? One in drop, two in drop, one on field. Alright, I think that means we still have one Obscurate in the deck. So I will use this effect to add one to my hand because I need this shield. Pretty desperately. Alright, and then we're going to swing with you to my opponent's head. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, 
theoretically quick boost six card hand means it's gonna be like 10k shield is relatively easy to drop for my opponent i think but actually that invites them to guard it so then the crit pressure is more so there we're not gonna boost here all right okay 10k shield they chose to take it so that means guarding the rest of these attacks will be a bit harder all right eva swinging using her skill here and i lost one so I lost one and then this will call the final up to date from the deck how many triggers do we still have left quite a bit but 30 seconds on the timer so let's hurry up gotta be careful with that rank time all right get the crit and then this is gonna be very big 46 and 33k swings on the rears looking good pg comes out for my opponent could have needed a lot of those to survive here though if they're pg the vanguard that means they probably have pgs for the rears too judging from because otherwise you would have just dropped two 15s for two to pass next on do we find any more triggers i have quite a few in deck sadly don't but the secondal is nice although i don't know if i can survive with just this hand a bit of a tall ask uh I'm sure they have a PG, and then they probably want to take this swing. Which means it doesn't make a difference. I feel like they have a PG in 10. Them calling that crit as well... Makes me believe, like, they want to take this? Oh. Oh, they're gonna one-card PG, huh? They have a Persona Ride that's gonna make things pretty sour. But let's see, we have 40k raw shield in hand. That's not quite enough to guard everything. How many heals do I have left? Yeah, let's use your effects. One in damage zone. That's one, two, uh, two. I have two in deck. Two heals in an eight card deck. Dude, <laughs> I'm so impressed. I'm surprised they didn't hit the hit any triggers on offense. So they don't have any personas anymore. That's true. Enpix is still a big attacker. That's kind of awkward to guard. So I'll probably have to two, one to pass the Vanguard swing. Oof, the music is playing. All right, what do you have in hand? This is where the stress starts. Yeah, it's a quarter of a chance of a heal trigger. Oh my god, the Gunosla. You lose power if you do that. <laughs> the Enpix is literally stronger in the background. <laughs> they realized. They realized. All right. Okay, so Ginosla doesn't do anything because you need the CB1 here to make this attack from the back. Uh, I think we just drop... We're gonna drop with a 1 to pass. How many triggers do you have out? Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Oh, that's not a lot. 9... Oh my god, they got a full deck of triggers. They got a full deck of triggers, dude. Mmm, that's rough. I think we try to two to pass. We try to two to pass and then guard anything that gets a crit on it. And then six damage heal after. I think that's what we have to do. Let's see, there's no OT at least. So that makes it a little bit better. Ah, I knew it. I knew there'd be a crit somewhere. So that's the worst this can be is 28. So I can guard that with double. But I think you want to give the power. So it's interesting. If it gives the power to the crit, then I'll just drop a 5k for it. But it doesn't. So we're going to have to take the end picks here. And then guard with two upscates against this. And yeah, that's what we'll have to do. Definitely going to make this deck from the back. Oh yeah, there's no way you're not going to do that. But yeah, I would have had to want to pass, but that the, the risk of crit coming out was way too high, so... I had to do it like so. And then here we're gonna basically guard for 33 to... This way we can 6 damage heal. And even if we don't, it's gonna have been a very close match. Magnolia definitely showing up! I did not respect Magnolia this much in Dear Days, but... Definitely showing up here. Alright, we have to take this end pick swing. We have to pray for the 1 in 4 chance of a heal trigger coming out off the top. Do we see it? Does the deck respond to our wishes? 
It is not, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we did compress as much as we could. We play tore out, but it was not enough. But still, I think we showed off what Eva can do. But this Magnolia was very strong. Maybe in the earlier game, when I didn't go for the... When I whiffed my own heal, um, that might have been the misplay, but very well played by my opponent, honestly. Showed off Magnolia, and we got to show off the power of Eva as well. All right, so that's Eva. So a bit of a different one. Usually, I, you know, all these videos that I've shot so far, I'm always kind of like winning them. But I think it's important to also show the losses because it kind of shows that you can still play optimally and do it the best that you can um, and optimize and still sometimes lose just because of, you know, the way that the game works. So I think we definitely did show what Eva is capable of and what the deck does. You know, it still does like a bit of that power with Combined Rusher, but come February, it's gonna level up a lot so it's gonna be very exciting but anyway if you liked the video please do give it a like and if you haven't already please do subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys next time bye bye